Good morning. Welcome to Automat. Right here, we're looking at the 1952 Plymouth Concord that we did a whole bunch of uh, modifications, um, starting from the airbag system, the engine work. We did a lot of uh, accessories, stereo system, especially airbag. Uh, we'll be showing you in the later of this uh, part of this video how we did the airbag on this. Now here, you will see the engine. We did a secondary, um, secondary alternator here, which is chrome, that was um, requested by the owner. And this is the one that powers up the um, um, airbag. On the most part of it, we, we basically cleaned up the engine, uh, put all brackets for the wires, for the hoses. We just secured them all. Everything was secured in here. But uh, before, when, when this first came to our shop, it was kind of like messy. This, uh, this engine here, you will notice that we had, we had raised this up by about almost two inches. This was down before. Whoever installed this before, it was way down there. And you will see like uh, brackets that, that we installed here. It's kind of like hard to see it, but we revised the brackets on this, the motor mounts, so it will raise up. Now, if you pan it out here, this is also what we did. We, we installed this, this um, uh, visor, the visor of the headlight, the um, OEM fog lights, and then we also installed the, um, this custom caps. And we also installed this the uh, visor too bad that after we had installed this this new uh, half caps the the skirt on this as you will see we didn't install it because basically this is this is going to be hitting you see there, there's a there is this here but this is going to be hitting this so in order for us to install this maybe later on the owner might decide, since he paid good money on this uh, side skirt, he might decide to just shorten out the, um, the differential so the wheels would go in and we can put this in. Now, I'll be showing you the way we did the airbag system on this. Right here you will see, we put not two, but four compressors with four solenoids with a 10 gallon uh, tank and um, optimal battery that would power up these compressors. Now, the good thing about this is that since each compressor, it will lift each one of the wheels individually, meaning to say he doesn't have to wait for a long time to to charge up the air, it will just keep on pumping that. And it, it's instantaneous um, uh, reaction of the airbag. And you will see here how uh, Jack, he customized this cover in here. It's screwed down. Okay. So here you would see how he, um, he did this custom cover. So, if he wants to service this battery, all he has to do is just remove this cover and now this will be all open and it can be open from there. There's the drain plug. If there's uh, sometimes condensation on the water, uh, it produces water, air produces water and he can drain it from there. So we also customize all this, uh, the whole thing, the whole um, uh, trunk area with carpet. Now here's the amplifier, the way we installed it. Amplifier powers up all his uh, speakers. He has two sets of component system, which is made by Concept. And shortly here, um, I will let Jack get into the car and uh, he will show how this is going to be lifting from here. To show, start the car and then activate the airbag
There you go. There's the back. We will lift it now. That is the riding height of the vehicle. Now it's gonna slam it down. Now that's the slam height. This is like a voice in the hood kind of look. Got it all over. Now you're gonna raise it up. Right there. There you go. Now we're gonna show. We're not gonna show the uh, interior of this, how we, we did this. <clears throat> this is the control that uh, he had been uh, activating. So each one of this is each uh, uh, side or each front, front and rear. And this will determine what height he's got. So too much for that. Now we do we did a, a sprinkle system on this. We integrated his uh, head unit with this old school cassette player and that's how he wanted it. So now we did the concept speakers right here. That is the component speaker and the mid which comes with the um, what you call the component the crossover and this one here too we also did um, like a dancing light I don't know how, how this is but likes the same reason we love if you if you don't follow me a kidnapper will come and grab you Okay, so let's listen to your stereo, to yourself. segment of this this video we will be showing you will put this car on the lift and we will show you how we did the airbag system on this thank you okay great okay now <clears throat> we're gonna show how we did this airbag system this is the lower control arm. We install the airbag right above the lower control arm. You will notice this steering. You customize the steering. Here's the other side of the airbag right above the lower control arm. We also did customizing on the shock absorber on this. Let me see if uh, this can be seen right here. 
right there is where we mounted the shock absorber it goes right there and then there's the there's the brace that we started tucking in all the wires in here we secured them they're fully secured to prevent from any um, accidental fire okay now car. we got this light courtesy for Bano this is the center differential and this is how we did the braces in this There's the airbag. We all customize this, this system here. And there's the shock absorber. Right here. It's the four-way link that we installed right here. There's the airbag. Again, this is the other side. I think this is a beauty, the way we did this. It's really beautiful. So that's, uh, that's it. And let's go back here. This is to the front. Here's the uh, shock absorber I was talking about that we customized. There's the bracket there. There's the steering. And you will notice that <clears throat> this engine here, when I said uh, earlier that we had to raise this engine by about 2 inches, we customized the motor mount, which is there. We customized that for the owner to raise up the, um, the engine about 2 inches. So now, when you're looking at it, it's like almost flush in there. It's probably sticking out, that oil pan is sticking out about by 1 inch. But that's good. Before it wasn't one inch, it was about two inches sticking down. And his uh, steering column, right, that right there, was touching the manifold, the downpipe. There's the downpipe, and it was touching before. Now it's got a good one inch of gap. Overall, the customer, when he saw this, he was very happy about this. We did some engine work on his car. We addressed all the um, <clears throat> oil leak. And there's the line. We secure those lines so it doesn't move. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.